Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest Strictly Come Dancing performances. My soul Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the best, most impressive, and memorable dances that will always be part of the Strictly Legacy. But don't be shy, let us know what your favorite dance is in the comments below. Number 20, American Smooth to Singing in the Rain, Ore Oduba and Joanne Clifton. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Singing in the Rain is a timeless classic, so if you plan on emulating it, you'd better get it right. And everything about this routine was just perfect. Joanne's choreography pays the right level of homage to the original while still making the number completely their own. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ore channels Gene Kelly to move with such grace, elegance, and impeccable timing across the dance floor. While the audience and judges loved the routine, the ultimate praise came from Gene Kelly's widow, Patricia Ward Kelly. She called the dance a beautiful tribute to Gene. What could possibly be a higher compliment than that? <laughs> Number 19, Charleston to Hot Honey Rag from Chicago, Georgia May Foote and Giovanni Paniche. <laughs> Georgia and Gio brought all the razzle-dazzle for one of Strictly's most memorable and entertaining Charlestons to date. It's not just that it's a fun and energetic routine danced flawlessly, but you can also tell just how much fun Georgia's having and her joy is captivating. Considering that this was the dance that she most wanted to perform, it's no surprise. Their routine earned them a spot in Blackpool, and in the finals, they brought it back to score the 40 we all knew they deserved. They set the bar high for all future Charlestons, as this is one we could happily watch on repeat. Number 18, Salsa to Hot 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 by The Merry Men, Mark Rampakash and Karen Hardy. Of course, we can't talk about Mark and Karen Salsa without acknowledging that infamously unfortunate glitch at the start. I can't resist. We need a party song. However, once they manage to untangle themselves, their performance is even hot, hot, hotter than before. Mark got to show audiences that not only could he nail Karen's intricate and speedy choreography, but also that he could inject some extra spice into his salsa as well. We're glad that they got a do-over, because their whole performance went down as absolutely legendary. Luckily, when they reprised it in the finals, it went off without a hitch, allowing audiences to really appreciate just how iconic it was. Hot, hot, hot. Number 17, Couple's Choice to Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang, Bill Bailey and Oti Mabuse. The comedian's transformation from underdog to frontrunner was unbelievable. Yet this dance, performed to an 80s rap classic, managed to blow us away all over again. There's a lot to contend with, including props, detailed choreography, and an energy level that leaves us exhausted just watching. If your girl can't make the night, then you take your friend. I'm Master Bill, and my mellow. They certainly didn't go easy on Bill either making sure that he hits every single beat with entertaining and innovative choreography. Still, Bill makes it look so effortless, and his chemistry with Oti is evident throughout. We don't know about you, but for us, this could have crowned him the winner there and then.
Number 16, Contemporary to Seven Years by Lucas Graham, Will Bailey and Jeanette Manrara. There was barely a dry eye left following Will and Jeanette's breathtaking and heartfelt contemporary dance. Once I was seven years old, my mama told me go. In the VT, he shared his own childhood health complications before dedicating this dance to anyone watching from a hospital. The style and choreography really allowed them to convey the emotion and story that inspired the number. It's a beautiful tribute to his own life journey as well. We were left with chills while the judges could barely choke back their tears. There's nothing more moving or striking than a routine danced from the heart. That's why this dance will forever remain among Strictly's most memorable and beloved performances. Once I was seven years old. Number 15, Samba to La Vida Es Un Carnival, Kevin Fletcher and Oti Mabuse. The Samba is a notoriously difficult dance and an ambitious choice for a debut performance. Yet, Kelvin really gets the party started thanks to his brilliant rhythm and hypnotic hips. Of course, credit to Oti, who always knows how to bring out the best in her partners, even with limited rehearsal time. They certainly heat up the ballroom, leaving audiences in the studio and at home feeling rather flushed. Bruno even called it the best debut samba he'd ever seen in a celebrity dance contest. Kelvin might have been a late addition to the lineup, but he instantly cemented his place as the front runner. Number 14, Quick Step to Dancing Fool by Copacabana. Joe Sugg and Diane Buswell. <laughs> when you go to the famous Blackpool Tower, you're expected to bring your A game. And that's exactly what we got from this duo in abundance. They performed this classic and elegant quick step, emulating all the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden age. They forego any gimmicks to focus instead on Joe's natural talents and their undeniable chemistry. Their performance is simply joyous and you can really see that Joe has put his heart and soul into every single step. Joe and Diane never fail to amaze and entertain us every week, but there's something about this dance that makes it a cut above the rest. Number 13, Show Dance to Angels by Robbie Williams, Caroline Flack, and Pasha Kovalev. From her debut dance to ultimately lifting the glitter ball, Caroline proved that she was a talented dancer each week. However, it was her show dance, which she performed with her heart on her sleeve, that really stands out as one of her best. The emotion behind it is so raw and authentic, and it's almost impossible not to get lost in the moment with her. Even Craig had to admit that she'd melted his heart. Sure, she was technically brilliant, but it's the emotion and passion behind every movement that really put this dance in a class of its own. She definitely was a worthy winner. Istanbul. Number 12, Argentine Tango to When Doves Cry by Prince, Rachel Stevens and Vincent Simone. When we say Argentine Tango, which couple springs to mind? Vincent and Rachel? Yeah, us too. It wasn't the first Argentine Tango ever seen on the show, but it's definitely the most iconic. The execution is clean, sharp and precise, and of course, being led by the king of the Argentine tango doesn't hurt either. 
The pair danced to Prince's When Doves Cry during the semi-finals and scored 39. Maybe Craig just lost his 10 pedal, who knows? Everything came together perfectly for this routine as the pair delivered a mesmerizing dance that secured their place as this season's frontrunners. Number 11, Argentine Tango, to pour una cabeza by Carlos Gardel, Debbie McGee, and Giovanni Paniche. The Argentine Tango is another of those dances that are often hard for celebrities to master, yet with Debbie's agility, flexibility, and staccato execution, you might believe that she'd been dancing it her whole life. She moves with such precision, sharpness, and artistry, making this complex choreography look like a breath of fresh air. It's practically impossible to tell the professional apart from the celeb. <laughs> We love the drama, passion, and how she draws in the audience, only to suddenly take our breath away as the tempo becomes more animated. After watching this dance, it's clear how Debbie earned herself the affectionate nickname, Leggy McGee. Number 10, Jive to Proud Mary by Tina Turner, Alexandra Burke, and Gorka Marquez. Another consistently high performer, Alexandra Burke, performed a jive that made it almost impossible to decipher the celebrity from the pro dancer. The partners earned three tens for their routine to Tina Turner's Proud Mary, and Craig even likened her technical precision to splitting an atom. Gorka certainly did not go easy on his partner as he choreographed a routine that required high energy and stamina but barely left Alex a moment to catch her breath. She makes it look effortless as she easily keeps up with his speed and energy levels, all the while smiling from start to finish. <laughs> Number 9, Show Dance to If My Friends Could See Me Now from Sweet Charity, Tom Chambers and Camilla Dallarup. If they could see me now that little gang of mine you know those dances that put an instant smile on your face this is one of them dancing to the sweet charity number this duo easily showed just why they deserved to be the season six champions <laughs> This was one of those show dances that compiled all of their greatest moments, reminding us why we'd been rooting for them all along. Some of the tricks Camilla threw in there couldn't have been easy either, but Tom hits every one of them with perfect timing and impeccable musicality. <laughs> Who says you need extravagant sets and fancy props to create a show dance for the ages? <laughs> Number 8, Rumba to Samba Party by Carlo Santana, Kara Toynton, and Artem Chikvinstev. Craig called it almost perfect, Len called it a knockout, and Bruno thought that she danced like a pro. There aren't many celebrities that could call the Roomba their dance, but clearly, Kara isn't among them. They ooze with sensuality and elegance, as their chemistry only makes it even more enchanting. If you're a seasoned Strictly fan, then you'll know just how much control it takes to master the Roomba's tricky rhythm. Yet Kara takes it all in her stride and makes every step look so graceful and effortless. If it was up to us, this dance would get a perfect score every time. <laughs> Number 7. 
Number 7. Contemporary to Unsteady by Ex-Ambassadors Ashley Roberts and Pasha Kovalev It's rather difficult to single out just one of Ashley's dances. However, we had to go with her contemporary as it showed her in a light that her other dances simply couldn't. Dedicating the dance to her late father, Ashley lays it all out there on the dance floor. Each step is filled with raw emotion and danced beautifully. It's a breathtaking number that tells a heart-wrenching story that's bound to leave you all choked up. We all knew that Ashley could dance, but here she proved that it takes a lot more than just pristine choreography to take a dance from good to unforgettable. Number 6 Jive to You Can't Stop the Beats from Hairspray Karim Zarula and Amy Dowden With every week and each phenomenal performance, we found ourselves wondering when Karim would finally be awarded a perfect score. Well, you know what they say, 11th time's the charm. At least it was for Karim and Amy, thanks to their outstanding hairspray-inspired jive during Musicals Week. Not only did he finally get his first 40, but also the first 40 of the series overall. And quite right too, as you don't perform a high-energy showstopper like that for anything less than a 10. Luckily, Craig had his 10 battle on hand, while Mozi's animated feedback became almost as memorable as the dance itself. <laughs> Number 5. Quick Step to Don't Get Me Wrong by The Pretenders Harry Judd and Aliona Villani Harry and Aliona sailed around the dance floor, earning them their highest score of the season and pretty much securing their place in the finals. This no-frills quickstep solely focused on the dancing and showed us all why Harry deserved his place in the competition. It's always wonderful seeing how much the performer is enjoying the dance and Harry looks like he's on cloud nine. <laughs> This routine cemented their place in the Strictly History books as one of the most memorable quick steps on the show. Even Craig had to search hard to find anything to criticize, and that is saying something. <laughs> Number 4 Theatre Jazz to Fever by Peggy Lee. Fatosa and Giovanni Panice. As the first pair to perform the theatre jazz couple's choice, Faye and Joe set the bar exceptionally high. Dancing during Halloween week, the pair performed a dance that could easily steal the show in a Bob Fosse musical. They really captured the choreographer's signature style with intricate isolations, intriguing shaping, and outstanding lifts. I'll light up when you call my name and you know I'm Craig practically had to take a microscope to the performance just to find something to criticize, but even he had to admit that it was absolutely brilliant. This was like nothing we'd ever seen before on the Strictly dance floor. We could happily watch it on repeat every Halloween. Number 3 Jive to I'm Still Standing by Elton John, Jill Halfpenny, and Darren Bennett. Just like ice, and there's a, cold night that shines on you. a week 3 jive has proven lucky for three Strictly champs, but it's Jill Halfpenny's routine to Elton John's I'm Still Standing that paved the way, with Bruno even calling it a masterclass in jive. I'm still standing after all this time. 
Jill and Darren will also go down in the Strictly history books for being the first pair to ever score full marks in the competition thanks to this dance. It's sharp, precise, and energetic with not a kick or flick out of place. You can never know what it's like. You look like when they came back to perform the routine four years on, Jill proved once again why this dance deserves strictly legacy status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 2 Jive to You Can Never Tell by Chuck Berry, Jay McGuinness and Eliana Villani. Sure. Jay McGuinness secured his position as the one to watch pretty early on in the show, starting with a Pulp Fiction themed jive in week 3. Their dance is packed to the brim with perfectly executed kicks and flicks and more action than the movie that inspired it. It may have only been early days, but it became one of those iconic Strictly routines that fans still talk about to this day. They received a 39 from the judges, with Bruno brushing off his 10 paddle and the other judges following suit when they reprised this routine in the finals. Number 1 Samba to Magdalena by Sergio Mendes, Danny Mac, and Oti Babuse. Any dance that holds the record of being the one and only Strictly Samba to score full marks to date deserves first place on our list too. <laughs> This amazing record belongs to Danny Mac and Oti Mabuse, whose spicy samba left judges and viewers alike in complete awe. It had bounce, it had fluid, and Danny didn't put a foot out of line. The samba is meant to be a party dance, and this is a routine definitely worth celebrating. Sure, they may have missed out on that glitter ball trophy, but this is a record they can hold on to forever. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.